It's my turn to do a writing activity today. And today's writing activity, we're going to focus on handwriting. So if you can grab some paper and you can grab a pencil or a pen, whatever is easiest for you and what you've got to hand to do some mark making and some handwriting with. Okay, I'm going to share my screen whilst you grab the bits and bobs that you need. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so when we are practicing our handwriting, you can actually group the letters into letters that are formed in similar ways. And one of the ways that some letters are formed, we call them one group, we call the caterpillar letters because they all curl around like a caterpillar. Okay, now I hope that it's the right way round when you are watching me at home. I hope so. If not, I'm so sorry. <laughs> they all curl around like a caterpillar and they start in the same place apart from E, but we'll do that next week. <laughs> okay, so we're going to focus on our curly caterpillar letters. They all curl around like a caterpillar. Can you get your pencil and can you put it in the air? And can you curl around like a caterpillar? Starting at the top of the letter, curl around like caterpillar, making that C shape in the air. Okay, now before we just get ready to write, I just want to show you some different pencil grips. Now you can see children hold their pencils in lots of different ways and there's actually a progression. So when you're little you normally hold your pen like this in your palm grasp and then slowly as children get older their pencil grip changes until it comes into this tripod grip, okay? I don't know if you can see my tripod grip there, so I've pinched it with my two pinching fingers, pinched the pencil, the pencil is resting in the bed of my thumb, and then my other fingers are curved round, and this one is providing a lot of support as well, okay? So whatever pencil grip your child uses, is fine but we are moving them with every piece of writing that we do slowly moving them towards this tripod grip okay and all of our writing movements start off in our shoulder and move down to our wrist okay so we encourage the children to start big with the shoulder so doing big c shape and then moving until it's just your wrist moving okay so that's quite tricky Right, so have a minute to just check your pencil grip, check in where your child's pencil grip is at on the progression, and if so, have a go at modifying it. We're ready to do some writing together. Okay, pencils ready? Let's go for the first letter then. So, our first letter is the letter A. Okay, and most, apart from that E, most of our curly caterpillar letters start at the same point, which is at this top bit of the letter okay so taking your pencil in the air what I want you to do is follow me so I'm going to move my mouse on the screen and I want you to move your pencil in the air ready so curl around like a caterpillar so you get that c shape and then with the a we go all the way up all the way down and flip like another go. So, curl around like a caterpillar, all the way up, all the way down, and flip. And A is one of the hardest letters to form correctly. Children want to form it like this, okay, which looks right, but we want to teach them the proper way to form it, which is like this. One more time, round like a caterpillar, all the way up, all the way down, and flip, okay? So what I'd like you to do then is I wonder if you could pause the video and if you could have a go at writing your letter A a couple of times on your piece of paper. If you can get it to fit on a line, that's amazing, but don't worry too much about that now. Just concentrate on forming it correctly holding your pencil correctly okay pause the video and hopefully you've unpaused it and ready to move on to the next letter okay 
The next letter we're going to do is the C, which starts in the same place as the A. So take your pencil in the air, follow along with me with that big movement, getting to a smaller movement with just your wrist. Ready? It's much easier. Just curl around the caterpillar and stop. Did you get it? Let's try again. Curl around that caterpillar and stop. You get it? And one more time. Curl around the caterpillar and stop. Super. I don't think you'll have any trouble with this one. Pause the video and have a go at practicing the letter C. Brilliant. You'll notice that when I am referring to the letters, I'm not using their letter sounds, I'm using their letter names. So for the purpose of handwriting and for the purpose of when we're not in a phonics or writing lesson, always do try to refer to the letters as their names so that the children learn both the phonetic pronunciation and the alphabetic names. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on to the next one. The letter O. Okay, this one it can be quite tricky because children sometimes go around it the wrong way which causes problems when we then try and join. And lots of children start at the bottom and, and loop round, which again causes problems when we later on try and join. So we do start it at exactly the same point as we did the other ones, okay? And we curl around the caterpillar to make that C shape before we join it up, okay? So take the pencil in the air, Ready to copy along with me, big, getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you're ready to write. Okay, pencils in the air. Ready, curl around the caterpillar. Get that nice C shape and join it up. And again, curl around the caterpillar, get that C shape and join it up. And one more time. Curl around the caterpillar, the C shape, and join it up. Got it? Perfect. Pause the video then, and you have a turn of writing your letter O. Got it? Ready then? Let's move on to the next letter. The next letter is the letter D. Funny thing about the letter D is that actually it's exactly the same as the letter A. You just go up for literally exactly the same. <laughs> okay, we start at the same point and we curl around the caterpillar and then we go all the way up and then we go all the way down and give it a little flick. Do you want to have a go? Let's try again. Your pencil in the air, ready to copy along with me. We go round like a caterpillar. Get that nice C shape. All the way up, all the way down, and give it a little flip. One more then. Curl around the caterpillar, and all the way up all the way back down and give it a little flip. Perfect. Do you see? It's just like the letter A. You just go up a bit more. <laughs> Pause the video then and have a go. Well done. You must be getting tired now. I'm going to just do one more and then the last one is very tricky. So I hope you're ready for the challenge. Oh no, not the letter G. It is just like the letter A. It just has an extra flick of it. It's really, if you cracked A, then you're able to crack a lot more of these letters. A is the tricky one. As soon as you've got A down, then it's just changing how A looks a little bit. So let me show you G. So again, we start in the same place. And we curl around the caterpillar, up and down, but it just goes down, 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 flick. Okay, it's just like the A. We go up and down, but rather than doing flick, we go down, 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 down. 
before we do the flip. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Ready? Round like a caterpillar. Up. Down. Down, 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 and flick it round. This was so bad. A little tricky. Fine, let's try again. See? Round like a caterpillar. Up. Down, 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 and curl it round. I'm sure you're going to find this super easy. <laughs> it is quite a tricky one, this one. Don't worry, guys. Right then, pause the video and have a go. Try your best. I'm sure you can do it. Well done, everyone. Those letters are so tricky. I'm pretty sure I started off with the trickiest letters of the alphabet just to bamboozle you with your handwriting. Well done. If you want to carry on practicing your handwriting, there are lots of fun ways that you could do it. You don't have to stick to practicing your handwriting on a piece of paper. You could maybe get some chalks and go outside and practice doing your letters on the pavement or on a wall. It's completely up to you. You could do some painting of the letters. You could even get some paper and trace the letters from a book that you've been reading at home. Or you could even, in the bath, with all your bubbles, have a go, or the steam on the shower to have a go at forming your letters. There's one other way that my little one likes to have letters practice, and that is to tickle the letters on your mummy or your daddy. So you can take your ha their hand and you can tickle them with the letter A, and you can tickle them with the letter C. <laughs> Whatever you do, have a real good go and well done for trying these incredibly tricky letters. Just remember, curl around like a caterpillar first and you are well on your way. Have fun! Bye! <laughs> Still don't know how to get out of these videos. <laughs>